great, great chance on my bro. Ugh. I need your help. Um, please locate me with your phone's GPS, man. Better hurry. Ah, uh, okay, okay. All right, bro. Uh, I'll be there right away. Just hang in there, okay? I'll try, man. All right, I'll try. Ah, uh, but you better hurry, man. Uh. Hey, hey, bro. Are you still there? Hello? Hello? Man, I better hurry. But first, I think I'll just watch this movie. <laughs> Oh my god, I think I'm too late. I tried to be here as fast as I can. Oh crap man, I went too hard on him. Oh my god, man, we still need to do a food review. Oh man, bro, bro. Hey guys, Freddy Senpai joined us again today. Just look at him. Uh, you look tired, man. Let me do the talking today. Today we're going to Gajima. It's a Japanese restaurant placing inside the Star Casino, which is specialized in burgers. Oh, uh, whoa. Where is it exactly? You say, good question. Once we reach there, you gotta see it. Exciting. Exciting, isn't it? Me too. I can't wait to see it myself. Alright, bro, this is it. Let's, um. Damn it! Let me speak for once. Now you know how it feels like to be completely silent. K O. Hey guys, we are back from Gojima, the burgers restaurant inside um, the stars. And now we're gonna be talking about how the food really tastes like. Alright, so we'll kick off with the, the burgers. Um, the, the burger, honestly, the first bite that I took out of the burger, I was really really impressed. First of all with the texture of the rice on the outside, the patty. It was absolutely cooked well and it had that crispy uh, softness to it, wasn't that mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it tastes like a uh, hash brown. Yeah, exactly like a hash brown. Yeah. That's a good good one. Um, also to the amount of uh, seasoning in terms of the mayonnaise and the, 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 the relish and the pickles was just about right. How about for your burger, was it the same? Yeah, my burger is pretty balanced. My one is uh, the grand stack, uh, no, not the grand stack, it's the Gojima stack. The Gojima stack, yeah. yeah. I had the Gojima double. Yeah. So there were two uh, uh, meat patties, the beef patties, right? Yeah, my one was with the, one of the uh, meat, meat patties and one with the mushroom patties. Yeah, it's mushroom. Which is uh, pretty, pretty decent. I thought it was fish in the beginning, to be honest. Okay, uh, how, how could you distinguish it was mushroom? Um, as I eat more and more to it, yeah. I, I can feel that the taste isn't that it tastes more like um, the soft texture of the mushroom instead of fish because fish always has this like taste to it. Could you see the mushrooms? Yeah, all the right, color. Right. The color is like um, light gray Perfect. and black. And uh, in all honesty, I've never had a Japanese burger before, but I could honestly say that if I would, was to go back and order, I'll probably just stick with the the, the burger. Yeah, they put a good twist on the burgers, um, the new twist on the burgers, which is pretty alright, but uh, it's pretty pricey as well. Yeah. Our burgers cost like $16.90. Yeah, I mean, in terms of uh, price value and what you're getting, I'd say probably I'll pay around maximum uh, $12, $13 maximum for that burger, but uh, no worth $16, whatever, $95. Was it $16.95? No, $16.90. $16.90, so. Uh, I mean, for today's standard, uh, for a burger, uh, what would you say? 
Uh, I will give it a rating 7 out of 8 for having unique the burgers taste. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'll give it uh, 8 out of 10 because I honestly thought the, the meat was cooked well. Uh, the patty uh, was absolutely delicious. Like, I just wanted more of that hash brown like patty. And the sauce reminded me a little bit of the Big Mac sauce. It does. I don't know, I just, I just felt like it had the same kind of creaminess and uh, texture. Do you agree? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, on a Japanese burger, it was kind of like a nice twist. And I was a bit surprised uh, to get that flavor in my mouth. But um, yeah. yeah. But my recommendation is when you go to Kojima, just get the burger. Don't get anything else. Because yeah. um, we get the fried chicken as well. It costs like $14.90. Uh. Which, um, eh, how do we say that, man? Um, well, don't get me started uh, on the chicken. Um, it's cooked on the outside. But raw on the inside. Yeah, and when we say raw, we mean like it's raw. And we have some footage later on in the clip you can have a look at and judge for yourself. And we'd love to hear your comments on that as well. But um, instead of footage, we have photos to be exact. Yeah. yeah. So we've got a pic of the the end result after devouring part of the chicken and leaving the rest uh, to rot away in the basket they gave us. But to be honest, um, my first bite of the chicken, I was like, wow. Yeah, he uh, was this this w was probably one of the best tasting chickens I've ever had. Why I say this is because of the crispiness on the outside. It was just like wow, really crispy, and that fluffy white uh, chicken on the outside. But that's when uh, all the happiness and all the good good things about this chicken went down downhill. Yeah, uh, down the drain, down the drain. Down yeah, down down the drain. <laughs> My first bite was terrible because <laughs> the it was raw. Was that terrible? We didn't want to put it on, on the camera for you guys. <laughs> yeah, it was a bad experience. It was a bad too. experience. So, um, look, uh, the more I ate into the chicken, the more uh, I discovered that how raw this chicken was. I mean, if you want to cook chicken and uh, offer chicken to the customers, at least make sure it's cooked well. Yeah. Because you can get a lot of diseases uh, sure. from uncooked chicken. Yeah, man. And uh, do you want to even comment? Cause, like, on... Because like, cooked chicken should the meat should look white at any chicken place that they cook chicken, they should know that the, like, the basic is chicken has to be white. There is no bloody red in the um, chicken, like the uh, one of the employees there said, you know, it's from the bones. Yeah, that's a lot of crap. That's what I, I was eating raw chicken since I was a kid, so I know what raw chicken tastes like. And to further add to that, there was more fuel added to the fire when I actually returned the chicken back to the lady. She kindly accepted the chicken without saying a word, and then she returned back to us saying that um, actually, the redness mm. on the chicken was from the bones, and yeah, that's the same lies I was fed when I was a kid, and I know it's all bullshit. And it was nice of her to give us uh, two pieces of chicken uh, to to apologize, but uh, we didn't really appreciate uh, being taken for fools that the redness of the meat was actually due to the bones, and you could actually feel the rubbery texture on the meat. Yeah, uh, it's not fully cooked. And also, those two pieces of chicken that came back, the newly cooked chickens were also raw, which was like a double disappointment. So, I mean, it wasn't a great way to end the night, but uh, again, um, you know, we had some uh, good feedback for the, the burgers, so, but uh, the chicken pieces, not so much. Yeah, I'll definitely give it a 2 out of 10. Wow, I think, is that the lowest score we've ever given a, a, a food? Uh, uh, I, think I taste worse uh, food so far, but um, yeah, th th this is definitely one of the top 10, man. Wow. Fried chicken. Wow, yeah. wow. I had only eating raw chickens because I know what they taste like. Um, I'm, I'm not going to give them a 2, I'll probably give them a 5 because my drumstick, the first drumstick I ate was okay. I mean, uh, <laughs> I could, the rest was pretty bad. But the rest, I, I would have to honestly say, uh, not edible at all. Yeah, they're pretty oily too, the rest was pretty oily as well. Yeah. Um, if you lift the chicken pieces uh, to rest and cool down, you see all the oil saturating into the, the skin, which is kind of like a bit of a turn off, isn't that right? Yeah, man. I mean, in all honesty, uh, Japanese chicken is supposed to be cooked you know, without the bones, like the karage, that's what I was expecting. But when I got something that looked like KFC, mm. I was a bit like, wow, um, I wasn't expecting that, right? Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, uh, it is what it is. Um, this was our food review for this particular yep. place. Yeah, Nukojima. The Kojima at the star. Yep. Alrighty, is there anything else you want to add, Tan? Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to add anything else. I think we will, we, will, we have to hold out now tonight, guys. So, All right. um, hope you enjoy watching this video. Alright, guys, thank you. Let's hold out.
Hey guys, British Empire join us once again today. Look at him. Woo! Hey man, you're still tired, man. Let me do the talking today. Today we'll be heading to Kojima, a Japanese uh, burger restaurant located inside the stars. Uh, where? Where is it, you might ask? Good question! But we know once we reach there. Exciting. Exciting, isn't it? Oh my god, yeah, I can't wait to see it myself too, man. Woo! Let's do it! Hey guys, British Empire join us once again today. Look at him. Woo! You're still tired, man. Let me do the talking today. Today we'll be going to the Gajima, a Japanese burger restaurant located in the stars. Uh, where, where is it, you might ask? Good question. We will go know once we reach there. Exciting. Exciting, isn't it? Can't wait to see it myself, too. Ah, this is it. Let's. <laughs> hey guys, British Empire, join us once again today. Look at him. Woo! Hey man, you're still tired, man. Let me do the talking today. Today we'll be going to the Gojima, a burger Japanese restaurant located inside the stars. Uh, w w Where is it you might ask? Good question. You will know once we get there. It sounds ex exciting, isn't it? Oh, I can't wait to see it myself too. <sighs> this is it, let's... 